I have officially moved into a camper for a box four with my gym crush. And I want to share the entire story as well as this whole journey that we've been on for the last seven days, our first week living in our camper in Costa Rica. And I want to share with you how all of this came about, including how two fitness freaks like us make sure to stay in shape as we go about adventuring our way through Costa Rica while maintaining our physique and healthy lifestyle, or at least try to because I got some confessions to make about that. And I want to give you a tour of our new home and, well, share the ups. I love it. And the unexpected challenges. <laughs> so something was smelling in our car and we realized what it was. And even though I may have been calling Alex my gym crush for a very long time on my channel, the reality is that we've been dating in private for a long time and dreaming of doing this ever since we started hanging out. But regardless of that, I think it's safe to say that this trip has made him get to know me on a whole new level. You farted in your sleep yesterday. Is this your lazy butt not going to the bathroom? Yeah, I had to pee last night. In the middle of the night. Yeah, oopsie. So maybe just help me pray that he chooses to stick around. <laughs> But now before we get into explaining the essentials for how to fitness freaks like us stay in shape during our travels, let me just catch you up to speed real quick in the case you didn't watch last week's video. If you watched my most recent video, you know that we got up at 2 a.m., had our meal prep, traveled to Houston, Texas because we had a long layover, made it to the gym there. It was absolutely awesome. Almost missed our flight, but we made it to this destination, which is Costa Rica. We got our four bucks for a van, but found an Airbnb for the first night just so that we would have daylight setting up our tent for the first time the following day. Right now, making a little breakfast. We got eggs in our cooker, which today is better than last time when I tried to do that. I did boil eggs this morning. Where did you boil the eggs? Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> I washed it. I drank coffee from your boiled egg water this morning. <laughs> yeah. I thought it would be easier if we didn't have to clean up two things. You know? I want to give you a tour and share the entire journey. Seven days it's been so far. But before we get into that, for two fitness freaks like us to keep our happiness, our progress, our physiques, our health as we're going on this journey, there are three essentials that we absolutely need that are necessary, crucial essentials as we go about this journey. And our essential number one, obviously, it's food. Specifically getting in enough protein and good nutrient foods to maintain our physique's progress and good mood throughout. And that's why on day one, after having woken up in our Airbnb, wanting to make it to the coast, we did stop to try some authentic Costa Rican coffee. Oh my god, there's... <laughs> why am I not surprised to see that? Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> We're done. We even learned the traditional way on how we can make it ourselves on our travels. We're making Costa Rican coffee. Camper style, so I've lit up a fire. Awesome coffee. And then how they do it is they take the water and then it drips. And you wait patiently. Is it done dripping? No. Nope. Can you squeeze the rest out? <laughs> I can't believe how impatient you are. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. Gee, it's so good. So good. And so was the Costa Rican food, which we've had a lot, a lot of. Very good. And I've been vlogging a ton of full days of eating. That will be coming out over the next few weeks because as I mentioned, finding high protein, healthier aligned food options is important for us as we've embarked on this lifestyle. And so on day one, we did stop to get some essentials. At a grocery store? Oh yeah. Now we're talking. Make sure that we were all stacked up for our first long drive on this journey. We both sleep with like six pillows each. I know this looks like a good pillow, but what do you think? I feel like this would be well, awesome. That's even better. Yeah. And Throughout our travels, we've been stopping at cool little local stores and restaurants with the intention of us making healthy choices throughout. But I really look like a red potato. Sometimes the sweet tooth has definitely had a higher say. Do you think my sugar addiction has taken overhand during this trip? Or do you think I'm okay? <laughs> it has literally been a dream of mine to travel the world and create valuable, awesome content for ever since I can remember. And I tried it at one point. I rented out my apartment, traveled all around Europe with my brother first, then I went to Tulum with my friend Alessandra, New York with my friend Betty, came back to Tulum, and then I was alone. And because I'm an introvert, I'm not the type of person that will like go out and party at night. And so I ended up feeling really lonely and wanting to come back to LA. But I still had this dream to give it another shot. But under different circumstances. Essential number two for two fitness freaks like us in order for us to keep thriving is of course finding gyms wherever we go. And we ended up finding a magnificent gym on day one. One more? Wait, you're only training for an hour. Oh my God. You want some? No, I'm training pre-workout free because it's all in the mind. What do you say about that? Using the battle cries of your enemies. 
No. I used to love for myself to move my body. Oh, okay. Let's go. Ready? So ready. I tried out all the glute machines, which I always love doing whenever I go to a new gym. And well, of course, I did a little bit of abs. And since then, we've been finding so many cool gyms all around Costa Rica. But I will say, they are far in between. And we did not know that all gyms in Costa Rica are closed on Sunday, so we have to skip a workout. We obviously didn't bring a scale with us. I don't know if I should do a thing where I like I don't weigh myself for a month and then see like if anything changes for a full month. You wait over double as much as me. So during this entire time, we're gonna either shower in gyms, like I just did. The shower was actually pretty nice. But I can imagine that at some point, we're gonna have to shower at something a lot worse than that. Or the ocean. Something that I'm so surprised by is how developed Costa Rica is. Like the fact that they have Walmart, Starbucks, Krispy Kreme donuts, like they literally have everything. It's wild. I'm very surprised. I'm in charge of snacks, so I hope I can find something good. And nice. What? Yeah. I don't think they're actually as zero calories. I think they're some in them. They do melt on the tongue. Great to explain how all of this kind of came about a long time ago when we first first started hanging out we realized that we both had the same dream of traveling the world and creating content that could be valuable and useful for the people watching it and hopefully have it inspire them to go for the dreams that they want in life and when alex completed his contract on april 1st we literally right away booked our tickets and we were taking the leap into actually pursuing this dream of ours. I really didn't think it was possible to meet someone like him who I just feel crazy about. And the fact that I get to do this with him is just absolutely wild. I'm so freaking grateful. Okay, moving on. Now, before we move into our final must for our travels, let me just give you a little tour of this beautiful home that we got. Currently, it's kind of messy because we've been using it this morning. But first thing when it comes to tour of our camper is the toilet. Now that we've gotten the bathroom, Let's move on to the kitchen. Inside of this trunk, well, right now it's just our suitcases, but it's all our equipment stored. Four Box 4 was so incredibly sweet and kind and lovely and amazing to allow us to use their van. A completely new system. <laughs> new 4x4. Four four. But it's a called a Suzuki. Suzuki, yeah. Suzuki 4x4. Four four. With all the equipment. And in the equipment is, very importantly, a coffee setup. What it also comes with, two setups for when we want to cook and boil food, which I'm very excited about cooking our own food on here. Not just one chair with some incredible little holders, but two chairs so that both you and your gym crush have something to sit in and meditate in. It also comes with a table. It's a little messy at the moment, but I had my coffee and eggs this morning sitting at it, which is very nice. It comes with two lamps, which was very useful. It also comes with a hammock, which is so nice because it gets a little warm in the tent. Look at what I'm looking up at. So comfy. And in here, we got some beach mats. We're about to drive to the coast today, so that's gonna be fun. We got a little cleaning situation inside of the car. Just trying to clean out the trash so that, you know, you guys don't think we're that dirty. We got a little setup so that we can be editing on the road, so we can be charging our computer. This car is very good at driving in the mountains, which we did last night. Right? <laughs> oh my God. It's like, <laughs> moving on to the bedroom. Like we both had like the sleep of our lives last night. It was great also do you hear the sounds that's a very peaceful sound to sleep in and this is the bedroom which once we made it to the coast was not for my 4 a.m early wake up call anything special but once the sun comes up oh my gosh look at this stunning view and that's exactly why that making it to the coast to get to experience this was our exact plan for day number two. And that's why we packed up our camper and spent most of that day driving, finding cool food and snack spots. Never ever thought that I would ever be drinking shrimp juice and craving, Is that good? craving more. So good. Oh my god! What the what? hell? I know, right? That's way too good. A little chicken on a stick. Taking the ferry and making our way to Nusara, which turned out to be our favorite place in all of Costa Rica. 
And that leads us to the third and final non-negotiable that we'll need whilst embarking on this fitness lifestyle, digital nomad life on the go, which is finding campsites near co-working spaces. Because working outside in the heat of nature, as well as on the bumpy road, is not easy. I'm just sitting here editing and something pooped on my hard drive. <laughs> And well, because the whole reason that we get to do this is because first of all, that you right now are watching this video, which you have no idea how grateful I am for you being willing to watch this crazy journey. And well, it is because we were able to work on the go and create these videos as we travel around that this all is possible. Places. So since this is a work trip, we're gonna be filming every day, editing every day. And we just yesterday found a gym and a co-working office. So we're about to go in there, get some editing done, get some work done. I'm kind of excited, it looks beautiful. Not just to be able to work, but also be able to charge all of our many devices every single day. Yes, our car does have chargers. We got It's a been a week on this journey, but I've shot a few other YouTube videos that are gonna be coming out in the next few days. I'm very excited to share them with you. And then our journey on this island. It's not an island, Pernilla. Our journey in Costa Rica continues. And then when we're done here, we got more travels to come over the next six months that I am very excited about. Thank you you so much for taking the time to watch this video being here on this journey with me i am so grateful for you and i hope that these videos bring you inspiration to go follow the dreams in your life that you deep down want that you dare dream out loud be honest with yourself with what you really deep down want and there's something about when you dare to dream and believe that it can become your possibility your reality that it can and i want that for you i want that so badly thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you again in the next one